Hey, my name is Shanshan. I sell art on shanshan.co. Today we're going to re react to M. Lang Contemporary Art. So looking at the website, he has kind of a triptych of multiple paintings with his, him, his picture with his dog. So you got kind of a feel of um, him. I would have him holding a paintbrush, not the dog, because maybe he loves his dog, but then you think he's a dog trainer doing painting or something. So, not that it hurts, but it would be a little more narrow, I think, just showing with a paintbrush. It does kind of look cool with an old guy with glasses. You're like, who is Terminator or what? And his logo he has himself, I think that's good. He probably should just narrow it in to get more, just the headshot. He has one of his paintings is the intro video, which I think is pretty strong. His first playlist is uploads, which is good. Then popular uploads, I'd probably reverse that. I think popular uploads you want first because most of your viewers are new. So you want to get them hooked with the popular uploads. Um, he doesn't have other playlists. I think if you look at a playlist, okay, he doesn't have this super well organized. So he could probably have something else besides, I think he should probably drop those other ones, but, <laughs> but I think he could organize his abstract into different styles maybe. So let's get into the first video. Okay, this one's called Abstract Art Painting Demo Depth and Movement with Simple Blending and Watches Fun and Easy. <laughs> That's a lot of wordplay there. So this is an older video, it's 720, so this is probably when he had like a, probably had an iPhone 4 when he shot this maybe. But it is the most popular video, so let's take a look. Oh. Oh, that was kind of a cool intro. So I just really straight into the video. No intro with the headshot, but. So I think the, the nice thing about this is it's just focused on the painting, you get straight into it, so that's pretty good. Let's skip ahead a little bit more, guys. That looks better, right? <laughs> ah! Gotta have my signature look. Right, let's skip ahead a little more. Kind of cool he's using two paintbrushes at the same time. The music is a little trippy. I like the color uses very strong, you know, lights, darks, different colors. Skip ahead a little bit more. Just a really simple brush stroke, but really energetic painting. So that's pretty interesting. I think if he'd done an intro with a headshot and then say, hey, I'm about to do an abstract painting, blah, blah, blah. Here's the painting that maybe talk about the process at the end. Might have been a little stronger video, but very strong painting process. So that's ideally what you want in a painting video. Let's go to the next painting. This one is called Michael Lang Painting Demo Fractured View Blending Shading Color Art Style. So as a newer video, it's gonna be higher quality. Boom. Oh, <laughs> I like that dramatic intro. It was really fun. Torque Productions. So show the finished product right at the bat. You know what you're going to get. That's good. Oh, Mix Lang. That's his name. Mix. Interesting. So I like this is way tighter. It's much more closer to the painting. What's going on? Is it a video? Oh, there's no sound here. So I think he forgot to record the sound here or didn't test the sound. So that's definitely want to check the sound. I probably just reload this whole video. Obviously really good painting, really nice zooming effect here a little bit. I kind of like how he plays in, or in between with just multiple paint brushes that keep it going. It's kind of fun. One's kind of a feathering brush. Another one's just the pure color. Okay, let's skip ahead a little bit. Okay, now there's sound, so I don't know why there's no sound of ones. Hmm, that's an interesting way to do that, Mark. I like to add marks like that in my style, too. Hmm. 
It's interesting he drags the paintbrush on top of it there. It definitely breaks up that uh, just brush look with a nice line work. Skip ahead a little bit. It's got a lot of nice layering here, I think, that I really like. It's really interesting you always work with two brush. I never thought of doing that. I have multiple brushes, but not usually with the same different hands. Yeah, it's interesting. Just one is kind of the feather, and one is the blending brush, and another one is. Skip ahead a little bit here to the end. Very, very dark, very punchy. It's a very dramatic painting, the way he paints. He ends it with kind of like him talking, but he doesn't talk, so it'd be a stronger video if he talked in the video. He could do voiceover, but it's, some painters do that. They just do the painting process pure, so. This one is called Michael Lang Painting Abstract Art Demo Titled Gravity Colorful. That intro is awesome. <laughs> like, who is Torque Production, but... I like this technique of using the black brush to kind of just get your skeleton of the painting. Let's scroll out a little bit more. Scroll up a little bit more. Oh, these ads are killing me. Very, very nice colors. I love the colors this guy's using. It's really punchy. It's really nice to add that crackling effect. It really gives a nice texture, kind of almost stained glass look. I like that. What side story? Some ad. Jesus Christ, he has ads all over this. I like the detailing he's doing here. It's really cool. It's really nice because he's using a really a lot of dense colors, so it's just really playful. Oh my god, look at these damn ads. Okay, he has a little bit too many ads in there. <laughs> look at that, another ad! Jesus Christ, bro! That looks terrible. <laughs> like, one or two, okay, but like... He's at least six here, you know, it's like, I know you don't get paper or videos except for ads, but sell t-shirts or something, you know, or prints. Very, very nice painting. So let's go look at his website. So he used to be mlang.com and he kind of moved it over, I think, to Pixels, which is a little strange because Pixels is good. It's kind of a polished website. You can do frame prints and all that, but you, um, and originals, but it's better to kind of do that yourself and then kind of have links here. But again, it looks pretty polished, easier to manage, right? So he has a whole bunch of art prints, home decor, which is like way too much stuff, I think. Um, it's okay to offer some of this, but if you're selling it, it's fine. But if you're not, then you just got way too much. This is all prints. Um, I don't believe he has any originals on here, which is it's just not a smart way to do your website, to have only prints. Um, I have a print site as well, but I don't do it as my main website. I do it as kind of a side website. I would have this as a kind of a side link from your main website and then go to here as your prints. I wouldn't have this as your main website. He also had, um, if you look here, this is really crazy. This is an old website, mlangart.com. I think he switched to the pixels. But now it's for sale for $9,500. <laughs> so if he wants to buy his old domain back at $9,500, like holy crap, man, I feel sorry for this guy. 
but he decided to move the pixels, I guess. Maybe he sells in galleries, I'm not sure. But yeah, you want your website to have just your name and you can have prints inside that, that's fine, or have a prints on the back side, but I don't know if I like this. It's just kind of, you only have your prints and you don't have any original art here. Cause it would have been really cool to see the original art. But I mean, if you're selling this way, you're selling this way, maybe you make money this way. So who knows, maybe it works for him. I mean, I get it because it has all the framing and everything. You can buy it straight away. You don't have to. But there's no blog here. There's no video about him. So you don't really know. It's a little depersonalized. It's kind of like an interior design website. But I guess if you want to off, off, off source it and not do much website, then it's kind of OK. But not ideal, I would say. It would be better to have his own website so you could have some of his YouTube videos embedded, have an about page, kind of a more personalized touch. This is pretty good, but it's kind of generic in a way. Because I bet you with his pixels, you can just jump to some other artist. That's usually the case with these kind of um, sites like this. He does some landscapes as well. But I think he does some really good work. I just, I'm not really hot on the website. I would do your own website and have Prince as kind of a subset of the website, that would be my choice. But yeah, I think it's a cool artist. I would go check him out. If you'd like to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next Artist React video. Thanks for watching, guys.